it's not like like Walter said that you know. But then Paul was saying, and then they had a big meet. Relationship through him, so you may stop. To go ahead and share your failures. Hey, you know, and, and hold on, hold on, Walter. Brother. There's, there's my brother Phil right there. <laughs> hey, Phil, how you doing, my man? <laughs> hey, brothers. <laughs> I, I hope, I hope and trust I didn't make your eardrums drool. No, I, uh, I, 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 I had to leave to have some supper with the wife because she was listening to, uh, you know, one of these American prophets who uh, discuss the things that God's going to do. And I respect these guys with, with their massive amount of followers. But after a while, you get tired of hearing what God's going to do when God's already told us what to do. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well. Hey, so Phil, hey, since uh, I haven't I haven't seen you in like forever down here. And by the way, Rob, he's also from St. Louis. He's the one who make the Murfords. Uh, Rob, he's also in St. Louis, so he's probably seen your work around. Um, but yeah, uh, Phil, man, long time no see. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to see you, man. Des, I, I I was reminded Teresa that the Knights sat at the round table while the rectangle table of our dining room several years ago and rob i was uh the the one the the one uh, uh strange looking guy among des and his friends uh and we 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 would get we would we would we would meet in various uh places and there really was the knights and one of the brothers went to the military one of the brothers went off and got married one of the brothers did this one of the brothers did that oh excuse the pink glasses by the way there well i need to put the, I, I need to put these back on because they're my cheap readers that I, my reading glasses that i get from the dollar store here in ferguson but uh yeah so when your knights came on i I love this, uh, this 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 setup you got here, Des. It's really cool. I talk the, the Crusaders, and by the way, the Crusaders, the Knights have gotten a bad woke rap, haven't they? Oh, yeah. You oh, know, yeah. the Crusaders, and I was starting to think that they that they really were the bad guys that the 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 anti everything was trying to uh, erase from history, but but in reality. There was just some Christians that said, well, we got to stop this scourge, you know? So they, they went on these nights, stopped the Islamic onslaught at the gate. And, and they, they stopped it at Europe. And uh, so I just heard, I read today, uh, some team is dropping the, a uh, St. Louis team is, is dropping the name Crusaders because, be, be because of the wars against the Crusaders and, and and Muslims, but having just come back from Pakistan, oh my gosh, it's so surreal coming back here because we we, we lay out the red carpet here in our freedom loving co country for any any minority, and um, you were right. I was in Pakistan and I was there a month for a third time. Came back, and the reality is this. There are millions of minority Christians enslaved, enslaved to Muslim uh, factory farm and brickyard owners, and 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 you know what? It's not just there's there's my there's lower caste Muslims and Hindus, who are also enslaved. These are these are the poor of Pakistan who never get the multiple. They never get dollar one of the multiple millions and billions the USA sends to Pakistan. We've made four Pakistani generals 
so stinking wealthy. They, they, they have left Pakistan. And now I read this morning the IMF and the EU are re- ready to throw another billion dollars to Pakistan. It just, we just make very, very, very rich government officials. So none of it goes to the people. None of it goes to the poor. Our, our Christian uh, brothers and sisters by the millions are in this slavery called bonded labor. So anyway, uh, the, let the nights arise because there, there's still an onslaught. Uh, but I, I chose instead of staying here and defending our country, I decided to launch my own little crusade on the other side of the earth. Yes, the the the, the right crusade, the, the spiritual crusade. You know, instead of fighting the, you know flesh and blood, you're actually doing the you know fighting against the spiritual powers that was over there. Oh, my, uh, oh man. You, and I know you experienced Christianity over there as compared to over here. I know it's like night and day. What's some of your experiences there with the Christians there? Well, you know what? Yeah, I, I'm glad you're directing it back to to the the more eternal thing. Because when you guys first came on, you were giving a little testimony uh, here and there. The one thing that I think blew my mind even more than this than this modern day slavery is this. And let's see if I can say this without crying. Uh, I never experienced such a powerful love of Christ, of the Holy Spirit, of the Father, of God. I've never experienced this except in the middle of the suffering of the Christians of Pakistan. I tell you what, and, and this is something else. But so when I come back to the USA, it's so surreal. I, you know, I can turn someone into rage just by moving into the lane, even though because they had to lift their foot off of the gas pedal and put it onto the brake. And uh, so it's so surreal coming back here. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm in a daze. I'm like, what am I doing back in this country? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife lives here. I needed to come back to my, my, to my honey, but. They, even though their lives have been used up by these brick masters, even though they've been beaten by the brick masters, even though their children's educational years have been robbed, they have no hate. They have no bitterness. They have no unforgiveness for the brick masters. I can't wrap my head around that. They, so, and and this is something else. I, I, I can't, they, they have hope in God. They're hope in God. Is so strong. Even I met one old man who had been there, 50, been in bonded labor 50 years. He had buried his wife in the brickyard. He's the only guy I, who ever said, I have no hope. I have yeah. hope. And, and this is something else. So, so I come back with even more of a proof that, that <laughs> God of the, that our God is real, that our God is true because of the mercy. Uh, and, and so you have this cry of Islamophobia with Imran Khan, the president, crying out Islamophobia. And he and, and yet our, our Christian young ladies over there uh, every day, there's there's two or three Hindus or Christians who are kidnapped, raped and forced to convert to Islam. So, you know, you will never hear that on our media or on the Pakistani media. I hear it from Christian pastors who who send me th- uh, horrible news like this all the time. Now, thank you, Jesus, that uh, there are some brave humanitarians who risk their lives to, pl- to just go plunk themselves in the middle of a police station. And they, they insist, they insist on justice being done. Sometimes they get thrown into jail. But I've met some of these, uh, especially one of these brave, brave men who shouldn't be walking the, the, the ground of Pakistan. Because if, if the few brave Christians who are brave enough to go and, 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 and shout for justice, don't, don't do it. The police won't, they won't bring justice. They just don't bring justice. So right now we're, Pakistan really has laws. They got laws. They got laws on their books, but they the laws never made, make it out of the gate of parliament because the entire country is corrupt. The entire c- country lives on bribery. This is why 20,000 
massive brickyards full of millions of minority Christian and, and a few Muslim and Hindu slaves exists because of this bribery. But but back to their faith. They are illiterate. They've been robbed of education.